Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. Now unfortunately it's a bit of a quiet one today because there wasn't much news out there yesterday which I think could be a good thing if I'm being honest with you in, in regards to the manager search because there was so much noise surrounding Ruud van Nistelrooy at the weekend and then obviously there was even more noise on Monday about him rejecting us. So I feel like at the minute with Ruud, no news is good news because the way I see it he's ready and lined up to be signed by Manchester United. That, that's what Fabrizio was saying anyway. So I think the next thing we hear from him, if all goes well on that front, will be him signing for Manchester United. Now, the fact that we've not heard anything since then suggests that maybe he's either A, stalling, B, the reports weren't necessarily as true as they were trying to make out, or C, and this is what someone who's been talking to me has said. Now, again, I always say, put anything I say to you, at the bottom of the barrel, because this isn't from a, like, a ridiculously good ITK source, but this is with from somebody that has got a few bits right to me in the past. But he says he thinks it's all just agent talk. Now, again, he did say the word thing, not it definitely is, but he thinks it's all just agent talk with regards to Rude trying to force either Burnley's hand or Man United's hands, and that's another important bit. He said it could just be agent stuff about him wanting to go to Burnley, so then that forces Manchester United into signing him, but it could also be agent talk about him going to Manchester United to force Burnley's hand to sign him. But Sasha was very confident that we would be getting Ruud van Nistelrooy. He did say when Ruud, well, when the reports came out about Ruud going to Manchester United that it was a big surprise to him. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I would suspect we'll know more within the next two, three days. Probably by the end of this week, he'll either have signed for Man United or have heard some reports out saying he's changed his mind again. So we'll see. Fingers crossed we see anything. And obviously, when I do see something, I'll bring it to you guys on the next show. Fingers crossed. It's soon, like I said. But anyway, like I said, a bit of a quiet one. But there were some quotes from Bo Henriksen, who you'll know is the... Uh, mains manager and has been linked to the Burnley role. He was linked when we brought in Henrik Jensen as assistant manager because them two had worked together in the past and his odds tumbled from 100 to 1 all the way at the time to about 7 to 2, was it? Something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it was definitely 100 to 1 because I stuck a fiver on him. Um, but it looked like that it wasn't going to be the case that he, he was coming because his odds started drifting again and and it came out that the assistant manager had nothing to do with the potential manager which is bizarre in itself but we've covered that so yeah it was an interesting one with Bo Henriksen but he's come out and he's recently addressed the situation regarding Burnley he said in a press conference that he's currently super happy where he is uh, and these are amid claims uh, sorry, amid links to the Burnley vacancy. Now, this was a report in the Burnley Express by friend of the podcast, Matt Scrafton. So, as I've said before, quite legit is Matt, but obviously he's picking up on what he said in a press conference anyway. But Henriksen, in his press conference, did say, I'm not commenting on any of that speculation at all. And he was talking to a Danish outlet, Tibbs Blade, Tibbs Bladet. Definitely wrong, but who cares? It's a newspaper, right? I am super happy in Mainz and I am still happy to be here. Mainz is a great club. My family has settled well. That is the most important thing. Then I will leave all the other speculation to agents and others. Again, interesting that he mentions agents there because like I've just said on the Rud van Nistelrooy front, somebody has told me that it is potentially all agent noise. But back to the ball, Henriksen one. I think that pretty much rules him out, right? I mean, nobody apart from that flurry when Henrik Jensen was announced, nobody really expected him to be coming to Burnley anyway. I mean, I would have liked him. He seems to have done all right in his managerial career so far, but it never felt like he'd even been spoken to. Like There was never any reports that, he, that he'd been interviewed by Alan, never any reports that you know he was interested. The names that we've seen interested so far have all been mentioned on the same reports. They've all been mentioned by the same journalists. They've all been there or thereabouts of the bookies' odds, right? And again, as I've said all the time, take it with a pinch of salt. But if he's coming out and saying he's happy at Mainz and his family is settled, just read between the lines and I think that means that you can rule out Bo Henriksen for the Burnley job.
Yeah, that's pretty much it, unfortunately, for today's show. Not quite a lot to go on, but I'll tell you what I'll do. Just to push it up to that eight-minute mark, as I've said before, the magic number on YouTube, if you know, you know. We'll quickly take a look at the bookies' odds again for the permanent manager of Burnley Football Club, the next permanent manager of Burnley Football Club. Craig Bellamy is still odds-on favourite at 10 to 11. Then you've got Scott Parker, who's now... Come back in a little bit. I think I'd, rather than that being bets and being ITK knowledge from the bookies, I think that's just a case of, well, Rude's odds have tumbled, drifted, sorry. Uh, Hemrickson's ruled himself out, so they're just pushing more people further up, I think. Um, so you've got Scott Parker at threes, Corbrand's at fours. Rude has gone out to eight. Interesting, I think he was tens yesterday after his comments. Uh, sorry, after the reports, and now he's been backed back into eight, so that's interesting. Then you've got Igor Tudor at 10s, Bo Henriksen has now gone to 12s, Liam Rossini at 16s, Kifientes 25s, Thierry Omri at 25s, and Frank Lampard at 33 to 1. So, again, do with that information what you want. As I've said a million times, I'm not sure the bookies know what's going on at the minute. I don't think we know what's going on as fans. I think, as a lot of people have mentioned, it could just be a random name out of the blue at this stage. It really, really could. Or it could just end up being Craig Bellamy, which, as much as I want to keep him, I do think that is the would be the most underwhelming thing in the world to interview all these people and then just go back with, with Bellamy anyway, who was already here. Um, but interestingly, and I know someone commented this on the show yesterday... Um, but I didn't mention it yesterday because I mentioned it on Monday, but Craig Bellamy is still also the favourite to be the Wales job. The Wales betting at the minute is Craig Bellamy at 10 to 11, which is interestingly the exact same price that he is for the Burnley job. Then you've got Thierry Henry at 2 to 1, um, and then there's some other random names in there. Obviously, I won't go too much into it. Mark Hughes. So, yeah, obviously, Wales going for a manager as well, and Craig Bellamy is the exact same price as he is for the Burnley role as he is for the Welsh role, so we'll see what happens with that one. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. Fixture release day today, which is good. I'll talk about that on tomorrow's show, especially if it's quiet in regards to the news again. But let me know, if you're watching this, and I'm, I'm recording this at quarter to eight in the morning, right? So if you're watching this, I'm going to try and get it up and uploaded by about quarter past or past eight. If, you, if you're one of those that watch it straight away, thank you so much. You must have us on notifications. Let me know in the comments below who you think we will get on the opening day of the season. I'm going to take a guess at Luton Town away. That's my guess, Luton Town away. Uh, if you're watching this after the fixtures have been released, put a big massive thumbs up in the comments because I was obviously right. Um, but yeah, anyway, seriously though, let me know in the comments what you think about um, the very, very, very little amount of stuff that was in today's show. What do you think of Bo Henriksen's comments? Um, what what are your thoughts at the minute on Rude van Nistelrooy and the manager situation? But yeah, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, as I know a lot of people have been mentioning in the comments that, that they are, please remember to subscribe. We will be getting back to the normal podcast, sort of like debate shows over the coming weeks. I tried to get something sorted at the weekend, as I've said on another show, but none of the lads were free. Hopefully they are free again this weekend and we'll do a manager's chat. In fact, I promise you now, I'll tell you what, I'll just quickly check my diary live on air for you all. Um, I am off on Friday, off on Sunday. That's for the England game. Um, so maybe do something Friday night, Saturday morning. We'll see. Uh, depends what the lads can do. If the lads can't do it again this weekend, I promise you I'll just do a live on my own. But I'm sure I'll be able to get somebody if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest. But let me know, like I said, what you think about all the news in the comments below. And as usual, we'll be back tomorrow.